Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. I'm live at Mobile World Congress 2016 in Barcelona, Spain. I'm hanging out with the folks here at Samsung and they just announced their brand new smartphones. I'm doing a quick comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Apple iPhone 6S Plus. It's kind of hard to believe that both handsets have 5.5 inch displays just because when you put the two side by side, you'll notice that the Galaxy S7 Edge is noticeably more compact. Samsung did a tremendous job in reducing the screen to body ratio. So when you compare it to the iPhone 6S Plus is just a massive phone. In terms of their design languages, they're completely different from one another. You have the metal meeting glass package with the S7 Edge. It just has a futuristic appeal that really comes off as super attractive. Whereas with the iPhone 6S Plus with its metal frame, it has a more conservative look, something we're used to, but at the same time too, it's just bulkier, heavier, and also it just, it just has more substance to it. Now, the nice thing about the Galaxy S7 Edge is that the fact that it also features a water-resistant construction, which is one good feature to have that the iPhone doesn't. Like we said already, they both have 5.5-inch screens, but the Galaxy S7 Edge has a high resolution of Quad HD versus 1080p for the iPhone 6S Plus. Now, from a normal distance, it's hard to tell the difference between the two. They have some notable features. For example, you have uh, 3D Touch with the iPhone 6S Plus, and you have those dual curved edges with the Galaxy S7 Edge. TouchWiz versus iOS, they're both very practical for the occasion, but you have more utility with the uh, TouchWiz experience. And they're both exceptionally fast with their performances. Uh, you have Qualcomm and St or Samsung chipsets in the S7 Edge, while Apple relies on its own. But from what we can see so far, the S7 Edge is pretty formidable in its performance. While well, Apple stepped up the megapixel count in its camera for the iPhone 6S Plus, Samsung did the opposite. They went back. They are going down to a 12 megapixel camera, but don't be too alarmed about that because we saw the two handsets in action and the Galaxy S7 Edge definitely has a slight advantage when it comes to low light performance. From what we saw quickly, it had brighter, more detailed photos, faster focus, whereas the iPhone 6S Plus, it just seemed a little bit more noisier and grainier under lower lighting conditions. You don't have to wait long to pick up the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's coming soon and it's shaping up to be a great competitor to the iPhone 6S Plus. Apple's pride and joy is always a great selling thing, but with that water resistant construction, that superior low light performance, the Galaxy S7 Edge is on track to being a great rival in the space, even to the iPhone.